Welcome back. Um, this is, uh, I guess, a little introduction to what we eat in a week this week or this past week. Um, I hope you're enjoying these just to kind of give you an idea of um, things that you can eat during the week. I know we all get, kind of get stuck in a rut of what we should have this week. What do you want for dinner? What do you want for dinner? I used to do it with my kids when they were growing up. We would sit down one night for dinner and we'd plan, try to plan like two weeks in advance. I'm like we had four kids and I'd tell them each they had to give me two dinners ideas. And I was kind of hoping that would kind of between my husband and me and my four kids, we would kind of get enough dinner ideas to get us through two weeks. And so I'd grocery shop for those two weeks at a time. And that's kind of how I planned about what activities were going on, what was going to be the easiest things to make those nights, that kind of thing. And so I'd have a kind of a two week plan on what we would eat for dinner. But now that my kids are grown and they're kind of off doing their own things for the most part, my husband goes out of town sometimes, I work nights, everything's just kind of crazy. So I don't always have a plan on what we're going to have. Um, I do, another tip is I keep a menu list, I call it a menu list in my phone of dinner ideas, of, um, you know, things I've cooked in the past that my kids and my husband like. So if we you know, kind of don't know what to make for dinner that night or the next night or whatever, and you're kind of stuck in a rut, so like pull up the menu and we'll just kind of scroll through and see if something it's like, oh yeah, let's have that or whatever. So that's another tip I have for you. So I hope you enjoyed this video of what we eat in a week and I want to show you. I don't know if you saw my um, a short I put on um, last week of starting my seeds. The top three boxes, no, nope, top two boxes actually started a few weeks ago and the bottom two boxes I started, I think it was last week um, with uh, my seeds from my fall garden. And I'm so happy this window gets a lot of sun in the morning, not so much in the afternoon, but it, I know it's kind of weird in my dining room, <laughs> I have my seeds stacked up. I had them in my living room in a window and it's supposed to, it's a south facing window and they say that's the best way to do it. But um, this is actually a north facing window, but in the morning it gets a lot of sun. It must be like a northeast facing window, I guess. Um, I kind of want to show you. They were kind of um, not growing so well. They were very lucky in my other window. But now that we have these in this window, these are actually starting to look like, this is Creole tomatoes. We raised, uh, grew some Creole tomatoes this past spring. And um, I got the seeds online off of Amazon. And they were super expensive. They were like $6 for like 10 seeds. Crazy expensive. So my husband's like, um, we're going to save seeds and not have to buy those. So he saved probably from the tomatoes we got 140 seeds or something. And so I'm like, we're free seeds. We'll just see if they sprout. This is, I put three seeds in each cup and this have three little plants in this one cup. So let's see. Yep. This is Creole tomatoes also. I need to water these. Anyway, we got three in this one. They're germinating really well and they're, they were super leggy, you can tell, but um, now they're putting on some more leaves. They're pretty leggy though, um, but they are putting on a lot more leaves now that we moved them over to this window. And actually the seeds I started last week, I um, bought some Vermont compost that I, um, Becky from um, Acre Homestead had recommended. And um, she like very highly recommended it. She had started all of her seeds this year with the Vermont compost. And so I purchased some. I'll leave a link. Um, you can get them off of Amazon. Sorry, I know I'm out of camera range, but they were taller than I could get. And uh, so I started these last week. And I'm so happy. I need to turn the box around because they're they're kind of all pointing towards the box, or to the, towards the window. So this is squash, just yellow squash. And these I planted last week, and look at them already. That's, that's just amazing, I think. It was just the Vermont compost and water. I didn't put any other fertilizer or anything in them. Let me check. Still moist, but I need to water them. But they're all, I have super little seedlings growing here. Let's see, this one, some zinnias. I wanted to get some flowers going from a pollinators. Let's see what else we got. I did 
This one's a squash also. Added a bunch of flowers, more zinnias. I did um, squash, tomatoes, um, tomatillos. Um, I direct sowed my beans and my peas. I did some lettuces. So a lot of plants for the fall garden going on. Um, if you want to see a little fall garden tour, I did a spring garden tour that, um, video earlier. I can link that. But if you want to see a fall garden tour, I can, once we get these plants in the ground, we can do that also. So I hope you enjoy this video of what we eat in a week, and we will see you back next time. So this night we had some leftover smoked brisket. And I roasted some broccoli with um, garlic infused oil, salt and pepper, and some Parmesan cheese. If you um, watch my Thursday videos, this will be a featured meal on how I did everything. This is just some um, Brazilian cheese bread. I love to get these from Costco. And then some twice baked potatoes. And then for dessert, we are having some peach cobbler. So this night I made chicken pot pie. I boiled the chicken and deboned it and used that broth for making the chicken and made this chicken pot pie. I used potatoes that it grew from my garden. So exciting to be able to use your own produce. They were very tiny little red and white potatoes, very tiny. And um, I just had to cut them in half and they were like the perfect size. Left the skins on them, didn't even peel them. So we used potatoes and carrots and the chicken and then I put thyme and salt and pepper for my seasonings in this pie. It's very delicious. Super creamy. That filling right there kind of oozed out. It was so hot. We should have let it cool a little bit before cutting it. It would have held together better. While I was um, boiling that chicken, I was able to make some breakfast sandwiches here. So I got that done at the same time. Got those in the fridge and freezer. This is my extra filling here, so I have some of that to put in the freezer. And this is my extra broth I had, so it was a very productive night cooking that night. This night I made this chicken and broccoli Alfredo stuffed pasta shells, um, then layered them with cheese. That was very nice. You could put that in the freezer and freeze it for another meal too. So this night was just some mashed potatoes, and um, my husband loves these. We call them beef tips and gravy. I'm not, it's like stew meat. Instead of making it like stew with potatoes and carrots, just making it with the gravy and serving it over the mashed potatoes. And then I've showed you the Dutch oven bread I've made a few times. It's actually a French bread recipe that I've cooked in the Dutch oven. Well, this night I decided to make it in a loaf like the French bread. I love this recipe. It's like, it takes one hour to make. It is super easy and super delicious. I'll leave All that. All right, so here is our finished plate. Oop, my rib fell over. Got my beans. Let's see. We'll turn this around. The beans, rib, chicken, sweet potatoes, and my yummy, moist, delicious cornbread. Okay, just trying to give all these seeds of water. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you share it with others and subscribe. Um, and we'll see you back next time. If you have any questions for me, um, just leave a comment and I will try to get them as soon as I can. And we'll see you. And thanks for watching.